హలో ఎవరివన్ ఐ ఎమ్ అశ్విని అసిస్టెంట్ ప్రొఫెసర్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ సిఎస్ఈఎంఎల్ అట్ ఎంఎల్ఆర్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ టెక్నాలజీ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ అన్ అదర్ సెషన్ ఆఫ్ ఆర్టిఫిషియల్ ఇంటెలిజెన్స్ ఇన్ టుడే సెషన్ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు లర్న్ అబౌట్ డెమ్ స్టార్ షాపర్ థియరీ ఇన్ ప్రీవియస్ సెషన్స్ వీ హ్యావ్ ఆల్రెడీ సీన్ వాట్ ఈస్ అన్సర్టనిటీ వాట్ ఆర్ ద వేస్ టు ఫైండ్ అవుట్ అన్సర్టనిటీ ఇన్ ద పర్టికులర్ స్టేట్మెంట్ so in last sessions uh, bayesian belief networks and uh, certainty factor we have seen already in this session we will see the dempster shaffer theory and we'll compare the both what is the difference between dempster shaffer theory and bayesian belief networks basically the bayesian belief networks are used in uh, uh, probabilistic events but uh, it will ignore more and it will uh, have only single evidence and it will take only that evidence to get uh, some conclusions in a statement but whereas in the dempster shaffer theory it will take all the possible uh, outcomes all the possible evidences uh, to get the conclusion to a particular statement let's see the overview of this today session so we'll see the introdu- introduction about the dempster shaffer theory and the example how it will be work uh, to get uh, some conclusion and what are the advantages and disadvantages and we'll see some characteristics of the dempster shaffer theory okay let's see the introduction part so the dempster shaffer theory is named as a two scientists so one is a dempster and another one is a uh, glen shaffer the glen shaffer is a uh, scholar of the dempster so dempster shaffer theory is given by arthur p dempster in 1970 in 1967 and his student glen shaffer in 1976 so these are the two um, n- n- scientists which are given this uh, dempster shaffer theory the name is also their names only so why it is important why we need to consider this dempster shaffer theory uh, already we are having uh, two measures uh, uh, to find out the uncertainty in the statement uh, like a uh, bayesian and certainty factor but why this dempster because bayesian theory is only concerned about a single evidences based upon that single evidence it will get some conclusion about that statement or uh, that a problem and bayesian probability cannot describe ignorance but uh, whereas a uh, dempster shaffer theory is an evidence theory it combines all possible outcomes of the problem whatever possibilities are there it will take all those possibilities and based upon that possibilities it will get some conclusion hence it is easy to solve problems where there may be a chance that a different evidence will lead to some different results so one evidence will lead to one uh, situation uh, one result another evidence will re- lead to another result also it will combine all those uh, evidences and it will get some result based upon the all possible evidences so the uncertainty in this model is given by two uh, components uh, that those are it will consider all possible outcomes and there is a two uh, important terms in this dempster shaffer theory one is belief another one is plausibility the belief will lead to believe in some possibility by bringing out some evidence and the plausibility will make evidence compatibility with the possible outcomes so the belief will lead to the some possibility by bringing some evidence and plausibility will compare uh, compatible with the all the possible outcomes so shaffer's framework allows for belief about propositions to be represented as intervals the those are bounded by two values one is belief another one is plausibility here always the belief is less than or equal to plausibility so belief in a hypothesis is constituted by the sum of all the masses of all set enclosed by it so whatever possibilities are there the belief means it will combine all those possibilities let's see plausibility plausibility is an upper bound on the possibility that the hypothesis could possibly happen up to that value because there is only so much evidence that contradicts the hypothesis so belief is a sum of all the masses and plausibility is 1 minus the belief let's see okay here the example let's understand this example so this is the scenario let us consider a room where four persons are presented a b c d okay and suddenly lights out and when the lights come back b has been died due to stabbing 
in his back with the help of a knife no one came into the room and no one has lived the room b has not committed suicide this is the scenario so in a room there are four persons are there a b c d all of sudden and the room is locked no one entered into the room other than this four and no one exited this room uh, the four are in that room and that is locked suddenly the light is gone light off uh, when light came then b has been died due to stabbing in his back so directly he can't uh, stab the um, himself because it is stabbed back side of uh, b so here either a or c or d or combinedly they stabbed b so let's see what are the possibilities and what are the evidences and we will solve this scenario by using the uh, dempster shopper theorem so this is the scenario then we have to find out who is the murderer so out of these four one is died that is b and three are left this is the uh, scenario out of these three one is the murderer or combinedly also they have uh, they done this one so to solve these are the following possibilities so the dempster shaffer theory will be depend on the belief and plausibility so it will consider all the possibilities with the evidence either a or c or d has killed him means individually either a c c d or a d have killed him or the three of them kill him none of the kill him so these are the possibilities of the scenario so this will be possible evidences by which we can find murderer by measuring of plausibility so using the above example set of possible conclusions are p equal to p1 p2 and so on pn possibilities where p is a set of possible conclusions either a or b or c or d can't be exhaustive means at least one must be true either a or b or c or d a or c or d otherwise mutually exclusive means a c a d or a d like that uh, mutually exclusive also uh, can be true so power set will contain 2 to the power of n elements where n is the number of elements in the possible set so for example if p equal to a comma b comma c the power set is given as like this and here the possibilities are eight elements eight possible outcomes are there Okay. So, in this dempster shaffer theory, these are the important uh, terms which we need to know. Already we know what is belief, what is a plausibility and one more is mass function m of k. It is an interpretation of m of k r b. It means there is a evidence for k r b which cannot be divided among more specific beliefs for k and b so this is the mass function means uh, possibilities of a or c or d like that so next one is belief in k the belief in element k of power set is the sum of masses elements which are subset of k this can be we explain like this let's say k equal to a comma b comma c then belief of k equal to masses of this elements m of a plus m of b means all the possibilities are called as belief so m of a plus m of b plus m of c plus m of a comma b m of a comma c m of b comma c or m of a comma b comma c all the possibilities in that scenario next the plausibility means it is the sum of masses of set that intersects with the k which means 1 minus the belief whatever is there in this that is belief of k the plausibility is nothing but 1 minus belief sum of all the masses that is intersection so in the important terms in dempster shaffer theory is a mass function m of k or b and belief in k and plausibility in k 
next let's see the characteristics of dempster shaper theory so it will ignorance part such that probability of all events aggregate to one ignorance is reduced in this theory by adding more and more evidences that is what we have seen in the example combination rule is used to combine various types of possibilities so uh, these are the characteristics of dempster shaper theory let's see the advantages of the advantages and disadvantages of dempster shaper theory the first one advantages as we add more information uncertainty interval reduces dempster shaper theory has much lower level of ignorance and diagnosis hierarchy can be represented using this person dealing with such problems is free to think about evidences and only one disadvantage is if evidences are possibilities is more than computation effort is also high as we have to deal with the 2 to the power of n of the set so in this session we have seen what is the dempster shaper theory when it is introduced introduction about the dempster shaper theory what are the important terms in the dempster shaper theory that is belief in k plausibility what are the definitions of the belief and plausibility and example means in the room how it will be deal how it will be find that murderer uh, using this uh, dempster shaper theory there is it it will not give the accurate result but it will consider all the evidences all the possibilities to get into that uh, conclusion okay next we have seen the characteristics and advantages and disadvantages of dempster shaper theory thank you